Hello everybody! Welcome to Impressive Image Maker Channel. This is Toshiyagi from beautiful little island Okinawa, Japan. I'm a photographer. I shot this image for a long time ago. Well, pipes. Uh, famous people who is pipe smoker. That's the concept of this image. Well, uh, I have this image and also I have this pencil drawing type image. I'm pretty much interested in this pencil drawing type image rather than this straight regular shot. Because, well, I don't know, I don't excited about this picture, just straight bottom, you know, one light, spotlight. Color wise, no color as much. Well, this brown, that's all about it. But I kind of exciting about this pencil drawing. I'm really interested in this. So this time I try to make some kind of illustration based images, this pencil drawing type of image. Then I add some colors and stuff. I don't know. Let me try it. Well, let's get started. Uh, first of all, I'm going to turn this one. Well, turn it off first on this. Then I'm going to work on this. I'm going to make a duplicate of this and the base image. I'm going to turn it off to keep it. Now, then I'm going to smudge this image now. Okay, smudge tool. Smudge tool. I usually use this Evolve. This is pretty nice texture, so I'm going to use same, yeah, Evolve to make something, uh, well, like, uh, let's see, painting, like, yeah, smudge all the image now first. Actually, I made a watercolor type image last time. Um, the other day of this image, but at this time I'm going to try something different. Okay, uh, almost done for smudging main subject. Now I'm gonna smudge overall base, pretty much big area. Well, okay, now. I'm going to see this, this pencil drawing type image. Then I change the blend mode to darken. Lighten up. This is just normal. Opacity down to 70%. So we can see through underneath of the smudged image. Overlay shows more of these pipes, especially this pipe. We see the pencil drawing type image also. And these pictures too. Hmm. That's cool. Maybe just keep this as a base image. Then I add some these photographs detail. Just add these details of the highlights. That makes nice too. Yeah, let me make, let me, let me try first that. Okay, now this is the group, right? So, let's see. I don't want to show the base image. This smudged image is going to be the base image. 
So I'm going to rename this Smudge, Smudge Base. Well, Smudge Base. Then this is Pencil Drawing Type. Now it's Overlay Max. So this is, yeah, Overlay 100. Then I'm going to make Group. This one is Overlay 100 Group. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this base image. Just take it out from this group. Just a regular image. Regular base image. Now, this group... Well, okay, I'm going to bring this one up to... Okay, inside the group. Now, I'm going to make mask, invert mask. But I'm going to reveal this washed out highlight side with just a brushing well medium blend then reveal this mask you changing color huh because there's no overlay effect let's see if I get this way maybe okay in this case this is group but I'm going to take out from this group, then I may use this. Let's just test. Duplicate this pencil drawing type, then go bring this one up to. Okay, just move this pencil drawing type up. Then I'm going to, let me turn this group off, then see this. Change overlay to luminosity in here to take it off the color. Let's see it. Just check. Goes to kind of yellowish. This is a luminosity 100. So I'm going to change name. Okay, luminosity 100 on this mask. Well, let's see. Clipping mask. Only for this image, right? Now this luminosity 100 effect only this image then cover with this mask. So the effect is only this here I touched and show the mask here. Then when I turn this group, how's this? Let me turn this one off. That was different when I had before. It shows some details. Well let me see this again. More reveal with same medium blend shows. Oh no, not much. It doesn't change much, huh? Let me see. I try to get out from this color to be same kind of yellowish. Oops, wait a minute. Oh, this is because of that uh, luminosity 100 effect. Yeah. Okay, change this then to let's see soft light overlay. Mm, still have this kind of magenta wish, kind of dull image, huh? Okay, in this case, how about okay? Take this out. Okay, go back. Only new group. Affect this. I want to get these details back, so I may just make mask on this pencil drawing type image. Mask here, then we can get get this kind of dull detail in this case though. Okay, now delete this then. Then we are back, we only have here, then get effect on this overlay 100. Now I don't want to get this contrast, so I can cover it uh, with mask, but it's going to grow this dull image. Okay, in that case though, let's see, I'm going to use this, okay, but about the, po I mean the photographs, I got to change somehow. Now this is the base image, smudged image, plus over 
over 800. Let's see, I'm going to duplicate this layer and then go up, base image, get out of this group. Then let's see, I want to take photographs detail, but I gotta change some. Wait a minute, I'm gonna turn this one off. Only this. I'm going to turn this one on. No mask. Ah, okay. I'm only looking at this photograph's detail, especially this highlight. Weight area. Maybe I can use this overlay on base image. Yeah, it shows a little bit more contrast. Okay, in this case, um, this is the base group image, this one. Then I'm going to add this highlight area only. With this is overlay about 50%. Now I'm going to base image duplicate. Then one is this effect overlay 50. Then the other one is just bring this one back to normal. Okay, that's kind of complicated, but just uh, make this one as a clipping mask with this. And turn this group off, you see this. This image has touch contrast. Just change the density of the opacity of this base image. Now it's just leave it overlay 50. Yeah. Then well then make mask on this. Now we invert mask. We don't see anything, but we have the effect of this overlay. Okay, now we see this group. Then if I take this mask off, it's going to show everything, right? So I'm going to review on this mask. We see medium blend. Okay, let's see this part. I was talking about highlight area. It's not that. Um, it's kind of dull still, but I can control with this opacity over this. You see, no opacity. Go up to hundred. Touch more, you see the detail. Yeah, let me see, change hard light, gives more detail of the hard, uh, highlight area. Yeah, okay, and just leave it overlay max. Okay, now we know. Uh, same smudge base image. One is just regular normal blend mode. The other one is overlay. It's max now. 100%. But effect only this mask, which is this this group, base group, base image part. So just review this mask on here. Alright, just Finish up review here. Highlight area. I'm going to change blend mode to see which is better. Change some colors to here. Okay, let's see. Kind of strange color, huh? 
but yeah we can change the color and get only the de uh, detail not to washed out okay let me see that there's yeah, no contrast kind of dull so more we want more contrast let's see yeah color burn or linear burn shows more contrast instead of this color of the detail i mean the density is no good so i'm going to take out the color well closer to the base now yellowish color but not now i just want to find this is dull not much contrast this is overlay it's a little better than the others but still has no detail much this is let burn color burn maybe color burn hmm? okay now i'm gonna take out this color with let's see now color burn maybe this is not what i need to use change this blend mode layer mask is fine only the photographs i want to bring this one back so i may not use this just use here base image should change so in that case though again just forget about this smudge base just use this change the color and contrast on this here so use this on max which is this mask only this photographs area so I'm going to change this layer goes now change this magenta wish I'm going to take this one out reduce red its effect already now we see here take the red out now it's kind of a little bit bluer so take blue too on highlight area by shadow area bring back also the red take the highlight area you get a little bit of contrast huh? take gamma bring up the contrast bring up highlight in down shadow area I'm looking at here and here touch your green wish as I know pretty much contrast but still get the uh, mid tones okay let's see on and off I changed this color here before after yeah touch details just here before magenta wish now I changed the color I'm going to neutral black and white type now we don't see much yellow wish this um, overlay hundred effect okay so i'm not using this smudged base image so i'm gonna delete this now we are working on this detail from this here overall effect is over 100 here then get the details then opacity maybe down 
this much also. Well, so far. I think it's not much in details here. I'm going to add some colors to get some texture. Okay, not now that's about it for this. Okay. Image now. Now from here though. What I'm gonna do is okay, new group. This is the base image. Smudged image and overlay. Now I wanna add some more effective colors. Maybe add on this top layer and Add color. Let me see if I uh, maybe orangeish. If I change to blend mode to color, change color to add. Well, yeah, it looks like kind of light image. Linear burn, darker color. Well, let's see darker color. Okay, just leave it here now. Now I gonna think about this shadow. Okay, this is darker color. Then I'm gonna add another layer for now change to color. Then I kinda like shadow area to be blue. Oh the effect on real dark area. Just a blue cast or something. Some touch. Well, it's overall okay type. Not that exciting. But, well, nice, okay. But, uh, let's see. To make something more exciting. Maybe add border. Maybe mask. I was working this group, base group. I add this darker color on photograph just orange -ish. then layer mask on smudged oh this is the same the photograph just photograph okay i'm gonna add let's go make that mask then choose white fill, fill layer now i'm gonna Use the eraser tool to open it up. This mask. Use painting to. Oh, what? It's that. Glover. This texture has kind wooden type image. Well, let's see. We won't change this texture, so. Okay, now I'm going to add this color layer, use airbrush, soft brush. Just give it a blue one cast, add cyan to just neutralize this orangish some, yeah. Okay, I guess, well, I guess that's it for today, and uh, thank you for watching my video. I hope this movie is going to give you some kind of idea to make your own creative work, and uh, well, I really appreciate for you guys' support, and you guys have a nice day, and see you next time. Bye now. Ciao.